The Chateau of Versailles, like Alcine's palace, at summer solstice, shall flame into the sky and nothing there remain. The king thinks tis vision of a madman, the fruit of a fanciful imagination. Unleash Bonton with all his hoard. Twill be in vain, for time is running out, and I defy the star-like king with all his whirling planets to find the riddle of the scheme with titles, heads, and Aesop's words that set alight my flaming brands, the frogs and Jupiter. Hmph. It reads like the raving of a lunatic. My service to the king prevents me from looking into this matter. I want you, Lalonde, to take charge of it. As a valet of the bedchamber, you can move about without hindrance. You know the chateau, its people, and its customs. Ask endless questions and report to me when you find anything suspect. But be careful. Don't spread the rumor that a madman is threatening the king. Make haste. You have only one day. Eight and a half hours of the clock. As soon as the king awakens, Dakin, the first doctor, inquires after his health. Did your majesty sleep well? Was your majesty too hot? Would his majesty like to be rubbed down? Thank you, Dakin. Your majesty has been in perfect health these last two months. While Bonton washed the king's hands, the family entrance arrived, as they did every morning. Monsieur, the king's brother, Monseigneur, the Dauphin, and the Duke of Maine came to witness the king. Well, my son, what time did you set out to hunt the wolf this morning? think you're going? The king's rising from bed has commenced and Monsieur Bonton hardly has time to speak to you now. The family have begun to arrive. His Highness the Dauphin has returned from the hunt, as usual, and Monsieur the king's brother is already present along with the Duke of Maine. I've heard it said, Monsieur Monsard, that the Prince of Condé has commissioned more work from you at Chantilly. Yes, he is insatiable. The orangery is no sooner finished than he begins to demand that the little chateau be embellished. You have already done a splendid job. Indeed, the Prince is so much enamoured of his residence that he's rarely seen at Versailles. He is racked by gout and therefore stays at home. I do not believe His Highness is a lover of solitude. That I can confirm. The prince is a great lover of society, and albeit he's rarely seen at court, he nonetheless imitates its splendor in his Chantilly residence. For many a time he has summoned me to entertain him. He is generous and discerning. By the gods, it is an admirable piece of work. This Paracel is sure of his skill. He paints these battle scenes wonderful well. Well, sir, what do you want? And so I should. This morning I was to continue to decorate the ceiling. But someone has spirited away my sketches. I know not, but conspiracies are rife in this chateau. 
It would not surprise me to learn that Minya was leader of a secret cabal that plots against me. He is jealous of the royal favor in which I bask and tries to discredit me since the disappearance of Colbert, my protector. I was about to ask as much of you. Be swift, I must have them before noon. If you hear any news, I shall be in the Salon of War. Oh, <laughs>